Welcome back, fellow astronauts. Today I'm talking about all things Starfield, of course, because yes, we are literally less than a month away from Starfield's early access release, which of course is on September 1st, and I cannot be more excited for this game. I know that you all are very, very excited for this game, and I'm going to talk about when you can expect Starfield to go gold, which of course indicates that the game will be completely done and finished and ready to get into our grubby little greedy paws. Now, also, I'm going to talk about some great news for both Xbox and the PC players as well, and new info that reveals that yes, you will be able to run your own business in Starfield, indicating that the economy system in this game is much deeper than we all thought. Now, there are also many signs that mechs may be a bigger part of the game than we think as well. And someone is actually making the entire space map in Starfield available on their website, which is pretty crazy. I'm going to go into that, as well as the PC recommended system requirements as well, in case you missed it. So let's dive into the video, astronauts, and get started. So let's first talk about Starfield going gold. So when is it going to happen? When are they officially going to announce that Starfield is ready to be published out to us. Well, this is what Google had to say about this. It says, how long before release does a game go gold? A few weeks before its release date, a game receives the gold approval from first party companies like Microsoft, Sony, or Nintendo, meaning that they have approved the game to be published on their consoles. And of course, in the case of Starfield, we're talking about the Xbox and the PC console, obviously. So we can anticipate that Bethesda and Microsoft are going to announce Starfield's gold status in the next couple weeks. If that doesn't happen, I am going to start getting a little bit worried and we might expect a minor delay, but I don't think we are going to get a delay on Starfield because Microsoft and Bethesda have tons of quality assurance testers on the game right now, so many that it's the most they've ever had on a single game. And this is according to the Giant Bomb podcast that was posted a while back. And this was also posted on the rockpapershotgun.com website. It says, Spencer also added that Xbox has every QA person in our entire company playing Starfield right now, looking at bug counts, looking at the quality of where we are. He also said that the nice thing about what we showed in the Starfield Direct, from my perspective, is that was the game. We've been playing the game for quite a while, and that's the game, end quote. So, of course, Phil Spencer's point is what you saw on Starfield Direct is exactly what you can expect to play with Starfield, which is very exciting to hear. So let's go and talk about this very good news for us Xbox and PC players concerning Starfield. This was posted by Game Pass Tracker Xbox Unlimited on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. They said, big news, it seems Starfield just got even better with Xbox Play Anywhere. Now, when you grab the digital copy, you'll own it on both Xbox and PC with cross saves. Now, this is huge news, especially if you plan on playing on both consoles. Now, if you're playing on the Xbox and you're like, well, this doesn't really matter to me, this does not really apply to me, well, hold on there because you never know, you might end up upgrading to a PC later on in the next couple of years. Maybe there's some mods on the PC that aren't necessarily available on console and you want to go ahead and carry over onto the PC and access all of those benefits. Or maybe you want to upgrade to PC later on with a graphics card and so on. Keep your cross save progression uh, with that really cool cross save feature, which will allow you to carry over your save from Xbox to PC and vice versa. So there's a lot of, you know, flexibility when playing Starfield. And this is one thing I do love about the Xbox ecosystem is you can quickly, uh, you know, go from Xbox to PC. And that's one of the reasons why I love Xbox so much. Now, also, we got to talk about this galaxy map here that someone is creating by themselves on 
their website. This is absolutely insane. So this was posted by Starfield News on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. They said Starfield's entire galaxy appears to have already been fully mapped by fans. Spoiler, it's pretty big. And they have the link there. And I'll post a link in the comments for you all to check out the website. And I actually went to the website here and captured some footage of this galaxy map or space map, if you will. And I don't think it's the entire galaxy just yet, just a section of it, but this is very impressive. This is absolutely insane that they were able to map this out. And I'm expecting much more uh, and greater things from this website as they continue to build this out. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more really cool stuff from this website, but this is very impressive that they were able to actually create this before the game release. And they use some type of uh, mapping technology or something to actually achieve this. So it's very cool to see. Now, I'm also going to talk about this right here. If you're familiar with this, this is what we saw on Starfield Direct. And this is the Diplomat background right here. And if you look at the center there of the starting skills, it says commerce. It says Commerce right there in the center, and it says, in the settled systems, free market economy, almost anyone with the right skill set can open and run a successful business. Now, this is huge news and really indicates that the economical system in Starfield is going to be much more immersive than we all realize. Of course, you have outpost building, you have stuff like that in the game, you have ship building, all of this stuff that of course is going to contribute to the economy in the game. But honestly, I didn't realize that you'd actually be able to open and run a successful business in Starfield. So we don't know all of the details on this commerce starting skill and where this will lead in the game and what it could provide for the end game as well. But I'm sure this is going to be an important part of the game for us shipbuilders who really want to gather as many credits as possible in order to build the most epic and badass ships out there. So I think, uh, you know, that this business uh, system in the game is going to be very, very important indeed. Now, we got to also talk about mechs as well. So we've seen mechs teased, you know, in the footage that we've seen so far. And then more recently in the anime style videos that Bethesda released. So they released these videos here showing different backstories of different characters. And I found these animations to be absolutely amazing. They kind of reminded me of cyberpunk edge runners. And yes, I definitely want to see an entire anime inspired series for Starfield. Hit that like button if you want to see that. But back to the main point here, we got to see some mechs in this footage here. And a lot of people are starting to realize that mechs might play a much bigger role in Starfield story than we all initially realized. And I would have to agree with this. And I wouldn't be surprised if in the future, there's some DLC or something with mechs or maybe it's already in the game we just have not seen it yet so there could maybe be some story elements later on near the end game where you get access to a mech we'll have to see if that happens but let me know what you think in the comments do you think that this will be something that happens in starfield now also let's talk about this finding by xbox news on twitter they said in starfield it looks like pictures taken with the photo mode can be displayed inside your ship and they have a you know red square there indicating where you might be able to display photo mode pictures of course this has not been confirmed by bethesda just yet but i do believe that xbox news might be on to something here and i really hope this is true because i think it'd be so cool to be able to display all of your photos that you've captured across your time uh, exploring planets in Starfield. I would love to see this. And finally, let's take a look at the PC recommended and minimum system requirements. I'm not going to read this all off, but if you are playing on PC, these are the official 
minimum and recommended system requirements. And of course, the big one there is that yes, it will require an SSD hard drive with 125 gigabytes of available space. So if you have a regular SATA drive, you're definitely going to need to upgrade to an SSD drive. I had to do that myself. I had to upgrade to an SSD drive recently and then also upgrade my graphics card as well. So let me know in the comments, are you upgrading your PC just for Starfield? Let me know what graphics card you're going to get and let me know what hard drive you're going to get. I actually went with an M.2 SSD drive to get that extra fast speed. So if you want to do that, I definitely recommend going with M.2 SSD because it's even faster than a regular SSD drive. And that's going to do it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm glad to be back on Starfield News again. Took a small vacation there and I am very excited back again for Starfield as we count down the days to Starfield's launch on September 1st, which of course is early access, and then the full launch on September 6th. So astronauts, get ready. We are counting down. Expect more news right here. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. I'll see you later, astronauts. Take care. Take it easy. See you later.